One of the most frequently asked questions by teachers is how to populate a notebook file. However, the answer is quite simple. To begin with, you simply write on the board. You pick up the pen and write your word. So, to change your word into text, you simply click on it and recognize it as a swan. Each object on the board can be moved, manipulated and resized. Why not add a picture to this? Simply go into the gallery, bring up your keyboard and type in the word swan. So, press the search menu and your picture will come up. It's easy to bring your picture over. You just drag and drop. However, you can also bring over a picture or a multimedia file. Once again, go into your gallery and drag your picture over. Here, as you can see, the sound is attached to it. All you do is simply click on it and you can hear the sound. You can also bring over a flash file. This can correspond to the lesson that you are teaching your children. Once again, the child can come to the board and interact with the lesson. For example, WB Yates, The Wild Swan School. You can also go into My Content and drag over a pre-prepared lesson. Here, the student can label each of the objects. And as a teacher, you can tell them if it's correct or not. You can also add sound files directly from your desktop. All you do is drag and drop. Click the sound to activate it and click it again to stop it. However, you can also bring over a video. Here, you can see our president why not bring your child on a virtual tour of Tutankhamun's tomb? Click on the link, which will bring you directly to the internet, where you can transport them to Tut's tomb. So, let's begin. Let's see what Howard Carter saw as he explored Tut's tomb. And this is how you populate a notebook file. <laughs> 